Welcome to another tutorial from TutorVid.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a quick vintage effect like you might see on Instagram or any other camera effect app that you might have. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. And at the bottom of your layers palette, there should be a button that is uh, adding an image adjustment layer. We're going to go ahead and add our first image adjustment layer called Curves. And what we're doing here is we're just going to play a little bit with the contrast. For vintage images, I like to see the darkest points as dark as possible. I like to see the lightest points as light as possible. So play around with your curve by adding anchor points and just messing around with the curves, seeing what it is that you like. And the reason that we're using an image adjustment layer is because we don't want it to be destructive. Once we finish everything, we might come back later and make changes. Now I like it like this, but I want it to be a little more exposed. So I'm going to add another image adjustment layer for exposure. And all I'm going to do to this layer is just increase the exposure so that my lighter points are extremely light and they are bright and they're kind of overexposed and it's going to add a little bit of a dramatic effect. For our last image adjustment layer, we're going to play with the hue and the saturation, really just the saturation. As you can see, the saturation, if we move it all the way up or move it all the way down, it changes drastically uh, with the saturation of the color. I like it to be low saturation, and uh, we'll do with this at this point. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add a new layer. And at the bottom of your layers palette, you just might push the new layer button by creating the layer. And what I'm going to do is I want to add a little bit of noise, a little bit of grain to go ahead and add a little bit of dramatics. We're going to fill it with white. So grab your paint bucket tool and we're going to add some noise, filter, noise. And I don't, it doesn't need to be a lot of noise. Um, uniform Gaussian. Um, now, of course, if we increase the noise, you get a lot of noise. Decrease the noise, the amount of noise, it's not a lot of noise. I like the 14% um, time. You can't really see it too much in this tutorial, but I like it uniform. And we'll go with that. Not too much, not too little. And then what we're going to do is refer back to our layer palette and change the blending mode to overlay, like this. And as you can see, it's got a lot of brightness, a lot of overexposedness. And uh, we'll keep it like that for not, for a while. And we're going to add another layer. And to help out with our color, I like to use um, I like to use light yellow. And you might want to refer to a swatch, or you might just be able to go ahead and go inside the color picker and get a good light color, a light yellow color. And this kind of makes it this kind of increases the vintage feel on it. Many vintage pictures that you see have a little bit of yellow in it. So fill your layer with yellow. And what we're going to do is we're going to make that overlay as well uh, for the blending mode. Now right now you can't see a lot. Everything is, is, is not as visible as you want it to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the opacity of most of our levels. And I'm going to hide, I'm going to hide a yellow layer. And I'm going to play around with the opacity of our grain layer or the, the layer with the noise on it and just slide it up and down to something that you like. I'm going to go ahead with 31% and then with this yellow layer we will do the same, mess around with our opacity like so. I think that's about good. Of course refer back to your image to make sure it, it's like you like it. I think this is pretty good. Now like I said before your image adjustment layers are non destructive, so that means you can go back and forth and make changes as necessary. Just double click on the image adjustment layer icon and play around with, with something different. Once you have your yellow and your noise, things might change a little bit and you might want your picture to change a little bit. So uh, play around with your curves or your hue, saturation, or your exposure uh, to a point that you like it. And I think that I'm going to go with this. And what we're going to do next is duplicate our background or our image layer by clicking and dragging it to the new layer icon on the bottom of the layer palette. And what I want to do next is just use the burn tool so that we can create a vignette. I like using the burn tool more than I like any other 
kind of way to do this. So we're going to use the burn tool and make sure you have a big enough brush to start off with. I like to use bigger brushes first. So adjust your brush size so it's bigger so that you can go ahead and use your highlight range. Make sure your exposure is about in the 50% range. And again, we're going to go ahead and start with the highlights. So we're going to dim the lighter colors first and just try to go ahead and go around the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. It adds a little bit of flavor or character if you're not perfect on the edges. But go over the edges maybe once or twice, not too much. We're just trying to get the lighter colors to be dimmed down a little bit like so. And then we're going to go to the mid-tones, same brush size, doing the same thing. This is going to get a little bit darker. This is where most of the harshness is going to come. Um, and this is also why you made the noise. For the shadows range, I like to use a smaller brush because it's a bit harsher. And I don't want it to be extremely harsh and large on the sides. So just use this one sparingly on the sides. A little bit of like a burnt edge kind of feel. A little bit of, of course, a vintage feel. And while you're doing this, your noise, your grain is going to come through a little bit and help add that dramatic vintage effect. And as you can see, this is pretty much our finished product. Feel free to play around with everything. But here's your vintage effect.